Hello, folks. This is Tommy Handley speaking to you on a broadcast record for the first time. It may be the last, you never know. Anyhow, while I have the chance, I want to demonstrate to you a new wireless set that I have here. It is unique in the fact that by merely pressing a knob, you can hear any part of a 24-hour broadcasting program. The price of this set is 89 guineas. Now, for instance, say you would like to hear the children's hour. Turn the knob slightly southwest, and there you are. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon, children. How are you? How are you? How are you? Now, children, I have a little announcement to make before we start the program. I promised you that the wicked uncle would tell you one of his delightful stories. But I'm sorry to say he has been more wicked than usual today, so he has gone to bed to sleep it off. However, I've secured Uncle Panopticon to take his place. Whilst he is in the washhouse, gargling his throat, I will read to you the birthday greetings. Many happy returns of the day to Al Capone, Uncle Tom Cobbley, and Freeman, Hardy, and Willis. Hello, triplets. And now here is Uncle Panopticon ready to tell you his bedtime story. Come on, Uncle. <clears throat> All right, right you are. Hello, children. Uh, there was an old woman of Gloucester. That'll be enough of that, thank you. Now, for the ladies' special benefit, I'm going to switch over to enable them to hear one or two cooking hints. Oh, by the way, the price of this set is 40 guineas. One moment, please. My special dish today for jaded palates is called gefumpelum pie. Take two onions, and if the man is not looking, three. Buy a pork pie. Remove the pork and insert the onions. Cook quickly in a slow oven. Add a pinch of salt and let it simmer. Then throw it away and eat a banana instead. Well, now, folks, perhaps some of you would prefer the weather report for some unaccountable reason. Personally, I don't care to hear it, as I like my weather to come as a surprise. However, there are, I know, thousands of people who find an unholy joy in hearing Willie Weathercock announce that a deep depression is approaching south. Anyhow, let's turn the knob and hear what he has to say. Oh, by the way, uh, this set is so sensitive that you not only hear the news of the weather, you hear the weather itself. And the price of the set is 20 guineas. Hold tight. This is the national program from London. Before I read the news, here is an SOS. Will Bill Smith, who went to Canada 25 years ago, leaving his wife and baby son entirely destitute, Kindly return at once to London, when the baby son will knock his block off. Now here is the weather report. Sea in the English Channel, very damp and rough. In the Irish Channel, very ramp and duff. Uh, that is, uh, deaf and dumb. Uh, rather, uh, rough and damp. Rain fell in Manchester yesterday. As it never does anything else but fall, there's no news in that. This morning, a fairy cycle, uh, that is, an anticyclone, was seen approaching the west coast. This afternoon, it was seen to be a bit nearer. Half an hour ago, it was nearly here. <laughs> it's arrived, and that brings us to the other side, which is even worse than this one. Having survived part one, at least I hope you have, I shall now try and switch over to Wembley, where you may hear the football final being played. But I warn you, as this is a relay, you may hear some foul language. Oh, in case you don't know, the price of this set is ten guineas. The teams are now entering the field. The salmon tin dribblers are dressed in pink shorts and white pants, and the dogs' body rovers in white shirts and pink pants. Whether they will have any pants on at all when the game is finished remains to be seen. The captains are shaking hands. They are tossing the coin. They've started. Now they're off. The dribblers are pressing very hard. Well passed, sir. Go on, Peabody, kick it. Oh, lovely. Now Johnson's got it. No, he hasn't. Yes, he has. Yes, he hasn't. No, he has Shoot! Shoot, you... I'm sorry to cut you off so quickly, folks, but perhaps it's just as well. Now stand by for lunchtime music, played by Pietro Poloni and his hot dogs from the saloon bar of the Stumbling Duck. Leaving the lunchtime music, I now suggest we turn again to the national program. Mm. My talk tonight will be Kurds and their ways. Ah, uh -huh, not this time, thank you. 
Really, folks, one good point about this set. You can cut these people off when you want to. Oh, by the way, uh, the price is uh, two guineas. But let's continue the experiments. Stand by for a few seconds, and if nothing happens in half an hour, don't wait. I'm going to give you a relay from the local music hall, where you will hear an old favourite of yours, Sandy Powell. Ladies and fellow sufferers, I say sufferers because you all look like married men. Now you all know what I'm here for. This being the first general election this week, I am going to ask you a question. And the question is, are you going to vote for Sandy? Yes, yes, yes. For Sandy is the man for you. Yeah, yeah. And when Sandy gets in Parliament, what is he going to do? He's going to say we get free beer. Isn't that rather marvellous? And the price is only ten and six. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that you can get foreign stations just as easily. You can get China, Japan, Paris, Cleethorpes, Boggett Old Club and Preston Pans. Or you can even open the window and get chilly. Anyway, let's try Paris. And don't forget, the price of this set is a dollar. Voilà pourquoi elle est devenue la maîtresse de la maison. I think I'll put a bit more volume on. Elle n'a pas pris seulement la maison, mais notre cœur. Oh, Lord, something's happening to the set. Oh, go on. Well, let's turn it. The price of this set is now ninepence. Or we'll take in part exchange any old clothes, false teeth or jam jars.